Okay, pencil. Nice sharp pencil to put the eyes in here. I'll put the eyes, the yeah, eyeline will be sort of like here. Let me look at it first. Does that look okay? Now let's, uh, well, I can get the, 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 me the little meter out, but I'd just rather draw it in. To make it perfect, I'm just going to draw it in. And that's one of the things that I learned recently, but I have not... Well, you really don't learn if you don't do it, is when you put the eye in, you start with the left eye first. Because if you start with this eye here first, then you can look at the eye when you're putting in the right eye. But I always forget to do that. Okay, I am going to take my little detailing knife, put a nice little rub. And I'm going to go straight down, see if I can see. I'm going to bring my, my magnifier here, but you go straight down, follow the line. Straight down. down oops I think I may have went off track and like I have shown eyes before this is you Make a little chip cut right in the corner. Same with on this side here. Little chip cut right in the corner. Same with on this side. Same with on this side. And you just rounded that eye with the tip of your detailing knife. Let's see if that'll be a little easier for me to do this. And now you gotta clean those corners out. And the thing is, is I am probably gonna clean these out later because it's kinda hard to, to, to be on the camera. And I need to put my um, magnifying viewer on. Clean up. And then I want to 
create just kind of a, if you want to, you don't have to do this, almost like sort of like a little eyebrow bone. Kind of a thing. If you want. And whatever kind of smile or frown or whatever you want to put on him, it's a happy Halloween, so I'll put a nice crooked smile on him. I want to kind of create sort of an overbite or however you want and then I still want to still want to get a little extra mouth opening A lot of cleaning up to do. <clears throat> Take this knife down. Depends on how much you want this little sway to go. You know, just have a little bit of a, a sway. A lot of bit of sway. I think it might be a little too much. Take a little bit of it off and put it to a point. That's yeah, a little better. Okay, thus far. Now I want to kind of create, I want to get this uh, a shoulder in at the same time kind of creates sort of a neck so it's a kind of a, a separation between the head and the body kind of a thing. the body a little bit more. Rounding the shoulder of the left arm a little bit. I want to decide how thin do I want to have him, or is it good enough? I want to at least start again with 
making sure I've got kind of a head separating the body, so it's kind of a of course the definitive answer is that a neck, but we don't want them to have a neck. It's gonna be one of those no neck kind of guys. But the body is still A little thinner, it depends on how thin you want them. Maybe a little thinner on the head, for me. A little thinner in the back, too. Let's round the arms a little bit. The hand. Um, I am going to, for this character, I am going to drill a hole for him to hold a um, sign. Happy Halloween sign. And um, so I'm not too concerned about how I'm going to shape that hand right now. Usually, well, with other characters, maybe not so much of a ghost, but other characters, I like to drill the hole first, see what kind of a hole I, ha I have to put in, like with a Santa and a stick, and then I shape after that, shape around it. Let the chips fall where they may. Okay, um, I want to, before I, before I, has it been going off screen again? Jeez, how far can I go? My thumb. Jeez, how far can I, it's either too far down or too far up. That's yeah, a little better. I'm going to shape the top of the jack-o'-lantern a little bit more before I, sh before I shape the, the hand because I want to make sure that this is the way I want it. I mean, it's okay for the for not to be a perfect circle, but I want to make it as perfect as possible. So if it's off by a little bit, then it's okay. Again, there's going to be a little bit more cleaning up, but <sighs> okay, it's still a little, let's say, pointy. Let me bring it down some more.
Well, I suppose it's going to be as good as I want it. Okay, I want to carefully get around that stem. And kind of have like fingers there around the stem. But now it's kind of interesting what you could do. Thinking of another design, you probably have already figured out, most of you guys already figured out, how about uh, having this on top of his head? So he popped out and it's top of his head. I'm going to try one of those. Again, I need to do a little more cleaning up with my my spectacles. Okay, this one here, I just want to take the saw marks off. I can, again, I'm not going to do anything to the hand. Am I still have taking a my small number nine again. Trying to separate the hand and arm from the, the wispy body. Well, I have it in my hand here. Has a clean this up a bit. Just clean it up. Nothing spectacular. Okay, again, cleaning. Let's make this a little more thinner. Not too much thinner. We'll make it much thinner later. I still want to get some of that back out of there. There we go. That's starting to look better. Here we are so far. Like the hands, I got the, you already saw the head. I should do a little bit of close up. Can I do with this camera do a close up? Go over a little bit on this side because of the, so much shadow. Should have done more close ups. Close up of the head. Bust far. Now I want to get into the pumpkin. I know there's a lot more cleaning up to do and shaping and whatever we want to do. Now it's time to kind of come up to the pumpkin. Now what I have here is the traditional pumpkin face. I want to do kind of the same thing with uh, with this down here. You can do whatever size or what shape, whatever you want to do.